how important is it to like reinvent yourself as an actor? Yeah, well, it's important because I think you're aligned to growth. Um, the more you try something new, the more you grow. Mm. And um, so so, so it's an essential. It's just something that you have to do all the time so that what you do also, it gives you um, an opportunity to fit in in different spaces. Mm. <laughs> What's up, Juan? Welcome to another special edition of Podcasting Chill. Uh, chilling with a legend, living legend. I can't pronounce your uh, surname, so I'm not even going to pronounce your surname. Oscar Waraman, Kakati Skarasa. Kakati Ahona. My surname is Chenyakai, Presley Chenyakai. Yeah, man. AKA Cool Breezy, Woman Tweezy. Well, easy, Mr. Morsef himself. Morsef. Hope we're going to have a massive interview. Sure, sure. Have you ever thought about, you know, like trademarking some of the things you come up with on the show? Uh, well, I think I do course, you know, yeah. I need to kind of work on trademarking them because, you know, they, they grow, they grow so quick and people tend to love the sound and stuff. So one of the good days we should do that. Because uh, everybody calls alcohol Bev now because of you. <laughs> <laughs> they call beverage bad. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, welcome to it. It is Podcast and Chill. And as usual, we are brought to you by Amp Studio by Old Mutual. If you're a creative, a musician, an actor, you need a studio, you need a stage, you need to use some Wi Fi, you need to know about how the business works, make sure you check them out. That's ampstudios.co.za. Uh, follow the link above and check out some of the cool stuff they're doing on YouTube. So before we talk about your career, Nick. Sure. I realized that you've got a very, um, I don't know if it's called like an obsession or fascination with the Asian culture. Am I right in saying that? Asian culture? Yeah. In what way? <laughs> like, like, like Chinese, Japanese, like you know a lot about what's happening in that world. Uh, well, uh, I've been fortunate enough to travel a lot, you know. I've been in places like uh, Japan. I mean, you get to a place like Tokyo, you know that uh, from north to south, from east to west, it takes you about two hours to leave the town yeah, in yeah. all directions. So it's one of those things that I find quite interesting. But besides that, you know, we all grow up watching uh, Makarati, you yeah, know, Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee, or Jackie Chan, and uh, you know, Jet Li, and those guys. Yeah. So yeah. So so somehow we've always kind of uh, followed the Chinese in a way. Also, you haven't entrenched yourself in their culture. You know nothing about it. No, the food I enjoy, you know, okay. yeah, you know, like sushi, chow mein, mm. uh, stuff like that. It's the kind of food I enjoy too. That's the bit of culture that I say I can relate to. Because I feel like if you had to choose a country where you don't want to live apart from SA, it'd be somewhere in Asia, ne? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. love it, dog. I think, I think that can work. I think that can work. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. So let's start from the beginning, man. Um... Would you say you're the most famous person to come out of uh, Maban- Mabana? Um, well, not, not, not really, not really. But um, I'm from a generation of the guys that passed there, you know, that are in music. You look at uh, somebody like Double uh, HP. He was mm. also with Mabana for some time, um, which I think is one of the greatest rappers uh, to come out of Mafi Gang. You mm. look at uh, people like... Um, KB Mutsilenyani, you know, she's an actress, she's a musician, mm. um, also from Mabana, and a whole lot of others that come from that institution. Yeah, but none of them have won an Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <friends. laughs> yeah, well, you know, you know, so you get successful in, uh, you know, yeah. you know uh, different at uh, different times. Yeah. So I definitely think that even after Generation Yaruna, yeah. there's still a lot more to expect from the institution. And have you been back to the school? You know where it all started for you? Because, I mean, it started in school and you were doing a religious play or a drama. Yeah. Have you been, what's the name of that school? I'm from Ipilikela. Ipilikela, the primary school. Have you been back there? Um, I haven't been back, but my son goes there. Oh, is it? Yeah, my son is in school there now, my eldest son. Yeah. Um, so is it like a fancy school or it's just like a normal school? It's a normal school. It's a normal school. It's just that with us, we used to have um, 
religious as a subject. Mm. So you used to get an opportunity to play out Bible stories like, you know, with a lot of characters about Johanna Mokolobetsi and Simone Pitoro and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, so and why, why, why take your son there? Because I'm thinking, you know, like with the, the fame and the fortune that you've made, you'd want to take him to like, not, no disrespect, like a better school, you know, like a private school, you know? Well, um, I think uh, there's value, you know, in that school because um, it produced a lot of people that I can say they are very successful. Mm. And um, I'm not really fussy about uh, private school or public school as long as there's quality education there. Mm, yeah. And it's quality. And of course, the money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it makes sense, man. <laughs> the cheaper, the better. <laughs> Shit, man. And it brings me to my next question. Do you clar- clarify yourself as an A-list celebrity? Because when I look at you, ne? I don't see like a superstar, like an A-list celebrity, someone who will be like a diva or whatever the case may be. But you've done A-list things. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Like, what do you You've done yeah. A-list things. Yeah. What kind of a celebrity would you classify yourself mm. as? Well, I've always thought of myself as an artist, you know, as an actor and um, more than uh, the celebrity, which is, um, I'm fortunate enough, uh, the kind of people that mentored me kind of uh, put me through a process where, you know, they give you a gist, okay, this is what's going to happen. You will be famous. You will be well-known. But the most important thing is your craft. That's why in most spaces that I find myself in, it's more important for me to work as an ensemble uh, um, than uh, in just being an individual who happens to think they are the best of the best. Yeah. So that works, and it always works. Yeah, That's crazy. Who are your mentors? Um, I grew up um, under mentorship of your Paul Krodblom. We did a lot of theater stuff together. Your uh, Obris Kabi, that is the director of the State Theater. And um, a whole lot of other people that I looked up to, you know, some of the greatest actors that I think we have in South Africa, like your Patrick Shai, Wantates Putas Bukhudi. Uh, I've always admired um, their discipline in the craft. Mm. Yeah. And in your craft, you got to be disciplined, eh? It takes a lot, you know? Yes, yes. It, you have to be disciplined because with discipline, you go a long way. I mean, knowing that you have a shoot tomorrow or you have a stage play the next day and you are out all night, you come back the next day without your voice. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that will not work. And not a lot of people want to work with you because you are held disciplined. Exactly. So the more discipline you have, uh, the further you go. And talent can only take you so far. True, true, true. Because also... Your body, you know, takes a knock each time you overdo something. Um, so hey, my my body's to... taking so many knocks, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's about yeah. to crash. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, 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 we put it, your body's also your business. Mm. So, to eat healthy and try and exercise now and then is quite important. Do you do that? Um, I try to take walks now and then, but you see, the love bubble <laughs> is still there. <laughs> the love bubble is still there, you know. <laughs> so important to remember thing, especially when you have children. At least, but cannot jumpa jumpa nya now. Yeah. Jumpa tell you a six pack. Yeah. Mm. What kills me about you is that dog. Like, like you said, you've traveled all over the world, but I can see like it hasn't changed you, man. You're still humble. You're still staying to your ground, and that's crazy for me because. I'm sure there were so many opportunities where you could have lost that, you know, with what yeah. was going on around you. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, life is interesting in a sense that not everything is um, obvious or just, uh, you know, one way. There will be challenges there and there in your life. It's what you do to come out of the challenges to overcome that is most important. I mean, we are people, we all have flaws. And um, it's how you come out of it that makes you different. What challenges are you talking about, Presley? You've had challenges? Uh, no, I mean, there's a lot of challenges in the Fuck industry. Fuck yeah. I, mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, acting industry, sometimes you find that the job, they are not coming in mm. as, uh, as you'd like them to. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, it's local sharper financially. And uh, that's why it's very important. I always try and tell young artists that they need to be more innovative. Mm. Uh, in how they do things. I mean, you know, you try to learn different skills, like, you know, writing for yourself yeah. and stuff like that. When do you start realizing, things. okay, shit, man, I can do this for the rest of my life. Like, I can make money from this. Um, well, I've never done anything else um, throughout my career. I've sung Gaspana Shop, right? Or Gaspana, anywhere else. Yeah. So this is all I've done. I mean, from 1998 
Um, I did my first professional play. Kekhola eight hundred rand ta kapeke. Then I saw her eba na dide nge na musi. Kona le potential ya hore. I can make a living. Um, but, no, it's uh, okay. The funniest thing with that thing, eight hundred dollars. So I get it into the bank account. Kale balapin code. So I didn't use the money for about a year or something like that. Which you know, no sense of blama ko charte ko blama lo lady. So challenge was not really a big thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then from then, that's when you're like, all right, cool. Let me take this seriously. Yeah. Do you do research or you get inspiration from your mentors? Um, you have to do research. You have to do research, but most of the time, I think with acting. It comes with uh, observation, you know, observing different people and uh, sometimes drawing from your own experiences. I mean, more life think sometimes, you know, you'll go through loss and stuff like that. So if you find yourself in a scene or whatever, you need to kind of draw from your own emotional memory to make the scene more believable. So sometimes you draw from yourself, sometimes you draw from others That's and the crazy. energy of others. That's a skill, man. Yeah. To be able to go back in time, so you must have a good memory when you're an actor. Most importantly, good memory. Yes, you must have it, especially because of memories are the lines. Mm. But you must have an, also an emotional memory, which is something else, because you need to kind of go back to how you were feeling that time. Yeah, and you kind of like happened to you in real life. You know, yeah. and you kind of have to like switch it on and off, yes, which is crazy. Which is crazy. That's why the issue of who debrief is very important. Uh, what's um, what's that debrief? Pardon? What's that debrief? Um, like, let's say you doing like emotional scenes mm. or, or anything, maybe that is too violent or extreme in some way where it requires you to draw deep into yourself. Um, after you've shot the scenes, you need kind of to take a break to recollect yourself and stuff like that. So, so that thing is very necessary because everything is psychological with acting. So and you've needed to do that in your career. You need to do that throughout your career wow. so that you don't have uh, mental breakdowns and stuff like that. Yeah. So you need to kind of take care of yourself as well, emotionally. Yeah. But wouldn't and sometimes you s- it can even include therapy and stuff like that. You know. It's more serious, yeah. From acting? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because tonight we just see the final product. We're like, oh, this nigga, yeah. he's famous, he's rich, yeah. you know. Yeah. And we don't know the back scene. Yeah, yeah, which is quite interesting because you'll meet a lot of people that will tell you about the actors, mm, everything. Mm, mm. Um, but they don't know the hard work that goes into it, that I leave my house at 5 o'clock almost every morning to come and shoot. Um, and you're leaving your family. It's not easy thing. Yes, mm. of course. And it's not an easy thing. It's not as easy as it looks. Mm. Well, now you'll only see a show for 30 minutes. We work 12 hours a day. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like you typecast? Because, you know, when I watch like Inamba Namba, yeah. The River, uh, Tzoti as well, you're always playing like a gangster. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, with the. Not, I don't really feel that way because yeah. Inamba Namba I was playing a cop, mm. which is more of a good guy. Mm. Um, with Sotsi, you know, the guy was a criminal, but, you know, coming out of age and stuff like that, which is quite different. Mm. And uh, with Cobra, you know, I've got an opportunity to explore extensively different storylines. And um, I think uh, the character has given him an opportunity to grow. And tell me the truth. You don't have yeah. a script for Cobra, ne? You we do. Me. We, we ah, have scripts. Hey, <laughs> Prince, you lie. There's no way that shit is on the script. <laughs> script I think you freestyle. <laughs> script is a thing, but uh, I was fortunate enough uh, to Rebecca Mote, both the river. There's an opportunity to also apply your own interpretation. Mm. Or if in a cobra, probably he would say this line this way. But the script is there. Yeah. yeah. Do you know a guy like Cobra in real life? I think you do, ne? There's um, a guy you tap into, ne? Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. And you know, after playing a character for a certain time, certain traits need to look by a part of you. And um, yeah, it'll be quite something else to try something else after this one. How does that... Uh, character come about like you being on the river how does that happen do you go for audition um i was um called in and i got a script to read mm. and i did express that i was interested but i was also nervous at the same time in a sense that uh, i hadn't done anything in a really long term mm. um, oh, so, so, so first time committing term. yes 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 because normally i do like two films a year or three or one mm with a lot of theater work and, uh, you know, just travel a lot. That's what I would do before. So it was something that was quite new. And, uh, yeah, it was nerve-wracking in a way. Is it? Yeah. 
But you can't even say when you look on the screen. You can't even tell this guy's nervous. Mm, mm, no, no, I'm glad. I'm glad you think so. Because <laughs> <laughs> those are some of the things that you have to overcome. You know. And is there a difference between, as you're saying, play, um, theatre, yeah. um, movie? And now soapy telenovela type yeah. vibe. Is there a difference? Yeah, there's a huge difference. I mean, with theater, you're always on your toes because it's life. Mm. Um, um, so, so, so it keeps you, the adrenaline is there. And uh, even the preparation is quite different in a sense that, you know, with the theater piece, you'll get the exercise, do warm ups and uh, voice warm ups, vocal warm ups, and stuff like that. With. Um, and you know the the acting I think is quite big in terms of expressions and whatever. Yeah. With this, you have to internalize a bit more. With mm. television, you have to internalize internalize a bit more. Yeah. And obviously, with film, there's more time. Mm. You, know, to, you know, looking at the scenes. Whereas TV, everything is a lot more faster. And then, which one do you think gets the best out of you? Uh, I try to apply myself the best way possible in all of them. Yeah. So I guess maybe audience secure they can judge as someone who's seen me in different. Uh, yeah. yeah. But if you had to choose platforms. one that you could do for the rest of your life, which one would it be? Um, for the rest of my life, I'll say the one that pays more. <laughs> 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 because you know, I, I get it. You are passionate about the work and everything, yes. but as yes. time goes. You need to be in touch with reality. You know, I'm yeah. getting older and uh, the energy is no longer the same. And uh, so sometimes you need to look at things differently. When does reality kick in for you? Because, you know, as a creative, we always like when you start off, you just want to create good art. Yeah. And then like you're saying, reality kicks in, you get a family, you got kids, and then you're like, shit, I got to make money. Yeah. This, I got to make this work. So yeah. when does that kick in for you? No, I think uh, the mobile responsibility uh, is very different. Uh, you now start, you know, you got to build a future for your children. So it's no longer sure about you. It's no longer about you. I mean, for me to have my own property, I had to start from the beginning. I never inherited or gotten any favors, you see. Yeah. But at least, Bona, the harder you work, Bona Hore Ba Babele a starting point, Mulieving, unlike me. So is there a point where you take uh, roles and shows that you didn't want to do, Mara, because of <laughs> money? No, to... no, 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 no. I don't think I've, I've, I've been in that situation. Yeah. I don't think I've been in that situation. But obviously, sometimes, you know, uh, there are things that don't make sense. Motuari, kibata uro, toto, MC, akole nyano, laka, kita usara fresh. And I feel like, well, that's what you do for a living. So a person is offering you the drinks, see? <laughs> And not even, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so those are the kind of things that sometimes tend to think or people tend to think or our years are but can't it's actually <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, something serious. Are you a method actor? Like, you know, do you take your character at home? No, 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 no. That's what I was saying earlier that it's important to debrief so that mm. you don't get the and you know, imagine now getting home and I start calling my wife. Uh, Polinski, eh? I wouldn't be here. <laughs> oh, shit. Let, let, let's talk about the Oscars. Are you tired of talking about the Oscars? Uh, it's not really about uh, getting tired. The only thing is uh, around March every year, I'll probably get an interview um, um, asking me about the experiences or I'd hear a clip by Dala as, uh, you know, in history, this is what happened. And, you know, you still get some kind of, you know, um, flashbacks and goosebumps. Mm. Like the other day, Nikitli Nakaraj, Nikitli some notes and stuff uh, from years ago, which is like 2005, 2006, mm. where uh, someone was wishing me, you know, luck and congratulations at the same time yeah. for the ceremony the next day, yeah. which, yeah, was quite, you know, a very pleasant memory. Because in the same time, yes, you're grateful for winning the Oscar, but then also, after winning it, everything it then becomes Presley, the one who won the Oscar. So no matter what you do, you'll always be known as Presley, the one who won the Oscar. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I think the most important thing, Kuhure Obe centered and um, understand that there's still room for growth mm. so that you are also able to adapt to situations and uh, learn from others. I think that's the most important thing. So how does that rule come about? Like, is this the first big rule you've... Yes, yes, that was my that was my first biggest break. Um, 
You um, gone for auditions, obviously. Yes, yes, I went for auditions. Um, you know, get then go to audition. I think around nine o'clock. Yeah, mm. and mm. I only left the place at ten thirty at night. Wow! So as we were going, we kept on like in the red side scene with different actors. And uh, the longer I took, I realized that it was my longest audition ever. So Negesh Tatahobale, more confidence. Oh, wow. Yeah, or maybe we might be up to something good. And I mean, it was not an easy thing because you see, um, Batubale Nkhuri, you grow up watching on TV, people like, you know, Rapula Nasipi, more, yeah. and uh, Boswala Seven, and stuff so like when you, that. So when you audition, it's not one one. It was like. And then yes, ensemble. Yes, it ended up uh, being Libana. They were there for different roles. Roles, okay. But uh, because script in a less script is so so it's a different scenes from the oh from the, from the script. Yes, yes. Who else was coming for your role? Um, Who else auditioned? A lot of guys. A lot of guys, mm. man. Uh, a lot. I don't remember <laughs> most. <laughs> <It's all a laughs> seven. Yeah, he was there, but then they yeah. gave him. They offered him another role. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you get there. Are you are you nervous? How did you even find out about the the, the audition? Uh, agent? It was through my agent, Munin, offered some over late recently. Um, and I'm pretty same for the audition. Actually, for a reading first to come and meet the director. And then from then we auditioned. Yeah. So yeah, that's. And the first time you see the script, do they tell you what kind of character they're looking for? Nick, I was fortunate enough. Uh, uh, the played Sir Arthur Fugat mm. um, when I was still coming up and stuff. So I had a sense of style, the story, So that was, uh, you know, an early point in in Sanyana in terms of interpretation. Mm. But um, um, I just thought it's a movie. And um, um, but as we went on shooting, I kind of realized that we're up to something greater For real? than us. Yeah. Yeah. When yeah. do you realize that? I don't know. Okay, intuition. Mm. Uh, um, when people are very committed, and we are now feel like it's a Spanish long story. It does not just move you; it also moves others. And it looks like you guys didn't have a big budget. Like you were just making the um, most with what you had. Ne? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was not a big budget movie. And uh, we shot it for eight weeks. Eight weeks? Yeah, eight weeks. Yeah, two months. And, um, you know, half of the movie was at night. So in early winter, I mean, it was not easy. You know, some of the, the rain scenes, it's really, they happened in winter. Mm. I mean, I even got sick. I created pneumonia. Shit. Um, but, you know, it was all worth it in the end. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. And how's it like working with Terry? It was great. It was great. I mean, uh, she's a talented lady and um, a nice human being generally. Mm. So it was very nice to work with her. Yeah, man. And was the intention to get an Oscar? It was just an Oscar was like one of those things where you're like, ah, let's enter. And we'll see what happens. Um, the, the first trip actually was uh, uh, my first trip overseas. It was to go to Toronto. For the film festival, and the movie started growing from the mm. from different festivals. Uh, we were winning awards left, right, and center, and you know the Oscar was the ultimate. Mm. Um, so yeah, it was a process. Elonghori, the movie was growing to become something bigger than what we thought. And surely, when you apply for the Oscars, you think, God, there's no way we're gonna get it. <laughs> yeah, no, it was nerve wracking because, in a sense, also it's almost like a elections sort of mm. because you get there you know the, you feel like well, i think the week before and you're doing interviews with different stations your television radio mm, mm. Uh, press and stuff like that it's almost like you are campaigning mm, mm, um, mm, mm. for uh, the judge who voted your movie your movie yeah. yeah so so those are the kind of things that i also learned because i only used to see ceremony silly one yeah yeah, so they were quite interesting and they gave me a lot of experience that I'm proud of. Yeah, and do you still remember the, the night of the Oscars? Yeah, 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 it was crazy. You can't forget that. It was day. crazy, yeah. Hey, when you get there, who do you see? Huh? Who do you see when you get there? Uh, everyone, my bro. Everyone, everyone. And they know you? Everyone, yeah. They, some, most of them had seen the film already. Wow. Yeah, so it was interesting. Jeez, like Morgan Freeman was there, Denzel. Um, a lot of guys were there. I mean, even Morgan Freeman, I got a chance to see him again in Cape Town. Mm. He was here um, to develop a movie or something like that. I think we shot Invictus, yes. Yeah. He was around, but, you know, you met people like John Void, 
rappers, your Eve, your Ludacris, and a whole lot of other people. Fuck, President, this there. shit doesn't get into your head. <laughs> hey, you not lose my mind. Obviously, I, I, I was starstruck. I mean, <laughs> but you know, yeah. it was about you contain a fella and behave the best way possible. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And then when they say, okay, Tootsie wins, yeah. what happens then? You're in disbelief, ne? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Narasa, uh, you expect, or, you know, mm. you'll win. But... And this had never happened before with the South African movie, ne? No, no, no. It was the first one. Yeah. Wow. It was the first one. Wow. So it was a beautiful moment. And do you guys, do you still have the Oscar? Do you guys keep them or what happens? Uh, the director got to keep it, yeah. Mm. yeah. And do you get yeah. paid when you win an Oscar? Or it's just a... It's, it's just a trophy that will open a lot of opportunities for you. Mm. Yeah, especially internationally, yeah. Before we get to those opportunities yeah. there, when you won the Oscar that night, what do you do? What do you guys do that night? Don't tell me uh, you went back to your hotel. No, no, no. There's a lot of parties that are set up. Yeah. Um, you know, after parties at the Oscar... The South African embassy also wanted to do something for us. Wow. So it felt good to also be listening to songs like your Brenda Farsi and Zola, whatever. Yeah. You know, so you went to an after country. party? Yes, in a foreign country. So the South African embassy had arranged a party for us. How, how many after parties did you, could uh, you choose from? It was quite a lot. It was yeah. quite a lot. You still have the Vanity Fair party. You still had a... It was quite too much. Yeah. Yeah. And let me tell you, you were drinking there. Yeah, of course, we're celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's incredible. Yeah. All right, cool. So you won the Oscar. Like you said, it's open doors. How many offers did you have to like turn down or how many offers did you receive? Um, well, it actually worked the other way around mm. because um, when you came to South Africa, you know, everybody tends to think, no, now you are untouchable or yeah. you're too expensive. Yeah. So oh. people, but somehow, because oh, but I had a real expensive. Shit. Um, but also I got an opportunity to audition for movies abroad where they put me on a recording and send the tapes Presley, abroad. Presley, you've won an Oscar, you still have to do auditions? Yes, yes, of course. You of course. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> 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 Why what? Yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's what, you know, yeah. And also getting an agent abroad, stuff like that, getting representation. They were lobbying for me to move over that side, but I did not want to do that. Mm, why not? Mm, because to get there and still look for a job, you know, it was too much of a risk for me. Besides, I was still very young. How old were you at this time? Um, uh, I think around what? I'm not sure. 20, 19, 20, 21. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Um, yes, yes. That's crazy. Yeah. Excuse, let me turn this off. Oh, that's crazy. 1920, you got an Oscar. <laughs> I, I don't know how you didn't lose your mind, Presley. I, I commend you. Now everybody would know. As soon as I walk in, I'd walk with it every day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you choose not to. Uh, so if you had work guaranteed for you overseas, you would have stayed. Yes, yes, I would have gone. But to go there and start afresh, there's been a lot of, uh, you know, Stories that you hear about uh, artists that are prominent here that left uh, to go and work that side, to go and try and find work that side, mm. where people end up being homeless and stuff mm. like that. And, and also, be homeless, the biggest yeah. thing, or accent and everything, mm. you have to have that. So you would always wait for those movies where they need an African man. Mm. Uh, I want, and how long would that take? Exactly. So those are the kind of risks. Then it's about to it. Yeah. Do you regret not taking those risks? When you no, look no, like no, Trevor no, no. Noah and stuff like that. No, 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 no. I'm fine. I'm happier here at home. Yeah. Yeah. So after 30, what's the next big thing that comes? Does your career go like this or does it now go like this? Uh, it's just like what I explained uh, mm. earlier on mm. that there were, you know, a few challenges where a lot of people were thinking maybe you are too expensive to work mm. with. And is the money, uh, does the money resemble the fame at that time? Like is your bank account. As high. No, I was well taken care of. Meh. I was well taken care of. Yeah. yeah, I mean, just traveling around the world, you know, promoting the movie, I was well taken care of. Yeah, but you do it. Of course, you're going to blow that money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you went yeah. crazy. You went lit. No? Of course. You make sure you buy yourself things that you like. Yeah. What were you yeah. buying at that time when I you were young? Mostly... Yeah, but raw mm. and stuff like that. Mm. And, you know, some young parties there and there yeah. with friends. Yeah. yeah. So you didn't misuse that money? Um, 
I'm sure I did. I was young, man. <laughs> and you're allowed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And how are you financing wise like right now? Um, are you good? At, at this point, yeah, you know, I try to mm. Mm. cap certain things. Are you yeah. one of those people who knew about the business side of your craft or you were just solely co- focused on being the best at what you do? Um, I, I've, I've kind of have, you know, to teach myself, you know, uh, the business side. Mm, as you yeah, grow. As you grow, yeah. So you've been screwed over with like contracts and agents and stuff. Yes, you yes, 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 yes. Uh, but you know, it, it, it comes with experience, you know. Mm. Or uh, you can't just decide there because you're happy to get a job. Now you want to sign the contract right there and there without applying your mind or getting someone who's clued up. I go way through contract before you can sign it. Yeah. Yeah. So it lots of as time goes. Do you ever use the Oscar thing in an argument? Like if you're arguing with someone and no, you're like, no, 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 oh, no, but no. you didn't win an Oscar. I did. No, 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 no. It's not necessary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, when you drag us, come for a killing song. Get a little Oscar boy. <laughs> next, next. <laughs> ah, that's crazy. How do you make my diva wear a bucket hat, man? I saw that on your Instagram. That's oh, crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, man. You know, the old man was quite happy to have us at his home go mm. Cape Town. Mm. And um, you know he was very proud, and you know um, because um, it was more for South Africa than for an individual. Mm. You know that was uh, something that was most important, and you know he was great at storytelling. Lena was like his youth when he used to steal pigs, but he <laughs> forgot the blankets and whatever. So it was an interesting <laughs> visit. <laughs> Shit, and all the time he wanted to tell us about the banker that he has in the house. Yeah. And Zelda is trying to stop her, <laughs> to stop him, I mean. <laughs> so <laughs> it was an interesting one. Yeah, man, that's one thing I wish, you know, uh, I could have done before, you know, he passed away, is meet him. Yeah. Because I'm sure when you walk in the room in Mandela's day, he's got a presence. Yeah, you yeah, know, he has, he, 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 did, he did have a great presence. And, you know, when we insisted, the Rabatla would welcome her by standing up, he insisted, no, 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 sit down, sit down. Yeah. Because um, he is someone that was, you know, trying to refuse to be treated like a demigod or so. You know? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so you were doing this in 2005, ne? Mm. Fast track is now 20, 20, 15 years later. These things are happening, you know? Like what you guys did with Zotzi. Now it's become a norm. You know, you look at Pearl Tusi with Queen Queen Sono. Yeah. You look at Blood as Water. Sure. Um, do you think it's changed from back in your time or yeah, I think internationally, uh we are we are growing. I mean you look at uh, people like uh uh Trevor Noah, you know, um the guy's you know, super successful mm. uh in his own right. So it feels good to know that um uh, you know, the industry is growing and uh, our people are benefiting abroad mm. because it's always been the other way around. Mm. Yeah. True, true. Netflix comes, they say, let's do a sequel to Tzotzi. Would you do it? Yeah, of course, anytime. Nah. Yeah. Ah, I'm going to make that happen. That would be dope. <laughs> that would be dope. What are sure. you watching at the moment now? Um, the river. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> and you don't Netflix, you don't go on YouTube, nothing. No, I do, I do now and then, I do now and then. But, and what uh, are you watching uh, on YouTube? Um, uh, YouTube, uh, just a lot of things. Mm. You know, I watch clips of different comedians. I. You know, oh, you like comedy? I like Favorite comedy. comedian? Um, it's quite a lot. The My most favorite will always be Zulu on my stoop. Okay, yeah, yes, because yes, he wouldn't yes. happen recently and it was still cracking me up. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, but uh, yeah. So I'm talking about like comedians, Bo Richard comedians. Pryor, Bo. Oh, okay, Bo okay, Dave okay. Chappelle. Adam Sandler. Adam, oh, Adam Sandler. Sandler. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Girata is new thing now, Yahoo Rapper and whatever. I think it's quite yeah. something else, yeah. But it makes sense because your characters are very funny. I thought you were a comedian uh, in your spare no, time. Not really, not really. <laughs> How's it important to. How important is it to like revenge yourself as an actor? Yeah, well, it's important because I think you're aligned to growth. Mm. Um, the more you try something new, the more you grow, mm. and um, so 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 it's an essential. It's just something that you have to do all the time, so that what you do also it gives you um, an opportunity to fit in in different spaces. Mm. Mm. 
is would you say there's a role like you would never be able to play um i'm not sure i'll i'd try everything yeah yeah the yeah. only thing i'm not sure about the key setabo yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 now we're going to play a game in, in about 10 minutes or so because I want you to do some impersonations because I think you're very good at that. Uh, yeah, yeah. They're really sharp, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, wanted, I want you to tell me about some of the lows that you've experienced throughout your career and, you know, what kept you going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean... I think there used to be a point where, you know, uh, negative um, articles or whatever would get to me. For real? Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, if it's something new to you, I'm not talking about work criticism, something that has to do with your personal life and stuff like that. Those kind of things, they kind of hurt your feelings sometimes, Mm. especially when it's not true. Mm. Um, um, so yeah, that used to get to me. But so now, why? I think Hori no those why? things. I don't think. Huh? Why did it get to you? No, it's, it's, it's just like a real life, man. When someone says something about you that is not true, mm-hmm. that can either make you angry or hurt you. Mm. Yeah. So those are the, some of the things, mm. negativity that used to kind of get to me. Yeah. Yeah, but otherwise, you haven't had any other really, lows. Pardon? You haven't had any other lows in your career, like. We were tough, like you were broke even. No, 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 no. I mean, I've I've gone through that. I mean, I used to stay in a flat in Pretoria. Mm. This guy moved out with his pots and, you know, I, we were forced to cook. But we got Tinyari coffee, I mean. <laughs> you lie. We were coffee until our teeth went brown. <laughs> so things were tough. And Papa, you know, ka, 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 yeah, yeah. And then white house after more, you cook the soup. <laughs> so that's what we used to do. But I think uh, the best one was um, when I went to um, Standard Bank. Yeah. Um, Nikinal fifty rand, I got more bank account do in my student account. Then I tried to withdraw. Yeah. And then Hasala 44 rand something or something <laughs> like that. So I guess I could create 50 rand. I went back to the flat. Yeah. I did I did go bank. Yeah. Or get that withdrawal. And I don't think it was even allowed. But that lady, the way on TV, let's get thing. I'm shown that it's like a five rand or something. I don't fire. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I guess it's stories like that that uh, makes you who you are. You know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That keeps you humble and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, when you know where you come from, like they always say. Yeah. yeah it's easy to know where you're trying to get to. And at no point are you like, I fuck this acting. There's no money coming in. Let me try something else. Let me rap or something. Yeah. No, no. If it's something that you believe in, uh, you, you know that it's your life. And, you know. You have to make it work. You have to make it work mm-hmm. one way or the other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do, do you have any regrets? Like any paths you wish you had taken? Mm-hmm. Regret, regret, regret. Yeah, maybe I'll just say not finishing tertiary. Mm. Yeah, not finishing tertiary. You didn't finish? Yeah, Why? yeah, because I had to make a decision. It's either I was going to shoot Zotzi or I would stay, go TUT, go drama at campus. Fuck that. So when School or Zotzi? I'm going to school I, Zotzi, bro. When I asked my mom, she gave me a permission to follow my dream. Yeah. Which, yeah. No, I yeah. think you made the right choice, man. Fuck yeah. school, man. Who cares about school? <laughs> school is important. <laughs> Fuck it. Especially now when your kids start growing. You can't tell them that uh, you can survive without school. I will hold school, man. Uh, <laughs> you want them to be, you know, yeah. outside the more academic and then Wow, that's crazy to think that yeah. if your mom said no, yeah. you are not going to shoot Soti. Yes, yes, yes. Damn. And when you win, when you win the Oscar, she like, she's like, I'm yeah. glad you did. Yeah, definitely, yeah. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Shit, that's crazy, man. I never yeah. knew that. Um, let's talk about your family, man, because I know you love your family. Mm-hmm. When do you meet your wife? Um, <laughs> at home, what the, I knock off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, oh, you mean when did I meet? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, <laughs> at okay. home when I knock off. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> when do you meet your wife? <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Some, I think 16 years ago. Yeah, wow. 16 years ago. That's before Toti. 
Yeah, after, after, oh, after. It was about 2007, eight. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you know, I just, you know, I I liked her a lot. Yeah. What do you meet her? Because in the Lomago Pretoria, um, all the flat and say, Lord, they are next to one another. Mm. And she wouldn't agree to go out with me because Nasan trusted. She didn't know who I was. So I gave she her my ID. Something. Yeah, I gave her my ID. Uh, I told her lady flatmates to her if anything happens, <laughs> at least they know who she was with. Yeah. And then I would have so, given her the DVD yes, I don't no 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 no, no. <laughs> it's better always for who you are. True, true, really, true, true, uh, true, 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 true. The characters you play. Yeah. Um so yeah, and from there the rest is history. Yeah. Uh, I've been married for a couple of years now. Mm. And does the fame beautiful sons together, yeah. And does the fame um you know, have does it affect the relationship, you know? Because you know when someone is not in the industry, mm. they kind of like don't understand what it is that you do. No, she's always understood my work. Mm. Uh, I mean, you know, sometimes obviously if we look at a restaurant day or whatever, people still try and insist on taking pictures and whatever. Mm. That can be irritating sometimes. But sometimes Wabatusa, you know, I'd see a picture and I myself. Um, but otherwise she understands what it is. And um, did you watch Totti with her? The first time you watched it with her? No, no, no. You never watched it together? No, no, no. What? <laughs> hey, but I can look out to have the husband <laughs> and not the actor. <laughs> I, I saw you were chilling with your grandmother who was 93, yeah. Eh? yeah. And then she was watching you on, on, on the river. Yeah. That's how oh, you are blessed, man. Yeah, no, but she just passed on now. I, Is it? Yeah, yeah, you can fit some of it like on my weekend last week, Tuesday. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So like, this one was like one of the last moments you had yes, with her? Yes, yes, yes. Wow, that's crazy. Definitely, yeah. And yeah, does so your... rest in peace. Yeah, man. And, and does does your wife tell you like if, if you're doing a shit job like on, 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 when you when she watches the river or something? Um, no, she'll probably tell me, I uh, yeah, you really look tired. Yeah. <laughs> Cause she knows you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, but yeah, otherwise she's very supportive. What's her favorite character out of all the ones you've done? Mm, she enjoyed a play I did called Silent Voice. Yeah. I think she enjoyed that work a lot. Mm. Yeah. And you, do you, you don't have favorite characters like kids, ne? You can't say I have a favorite kid. Yeah. No, no. And what do your kids think about you? I mean, we know uh, you as like a superstar. What did they? Like? They they know me as their dad, you know. Uh, obviously, they know that uh, I am well known. Mm. But uh, all they see is their dad, and you know, they keep me on my toes. They teach me different things, different words. Instagram like, live. Or for gazy. <laughs> for gazy. <laughs> uh, or you know, then they teach me how to dance, you know. Um, Gazy introduced me to TikTok. Yeah, you're on TikTok. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. And do you see any of them like following in your footsteps? My boy likes uh, music and you know performing songs and stuff like that. But I hope he does something else. Maybe I'm a doctor or something because I know the stress exactly. that can come with uh, having a career in the arts. Yeah, It's the same with me, man. My son, I don't want him to be doing this. He must do anything but this. Mm. You know what I mean? It's crazy, right? Yeah. And yeah. those are the ones that turned up, you know, doing it Definitely. and actually being better than you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> true, true, true. And are you planning on having any more kids or are you done now? Um, for now, I'm still done. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. for now, yeah, yeah. And expensive, always, eh? yeah, very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> and how's your relationship with your parents? Uh, but it's good. It's good. Yeah, uh, it's good. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's all right. You're still close with them. Are, are both of them still alive? Yes, yes. Oh, yes, they, they're still alive. And you know, I go to my weekend now, and then they're both in my weekend. Mm. Yeah, to visit. Yeah. And stuff like that. Sometimes they come through this side. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was chatting to Rami China the other day, mm. and she was saying, like, it's so tough, um, you know, as a female in this industry. Yeah. Because there's such things as couch casting. Do you know about that? Yeah, I've heard a lot about that. and um, But luckily now there's, uh, you know, bodies and, you know, unions that, that try and protect our ladies from that thing to be happening. Um. So I think such representation is good. Uh, the ladies are safe. 
or they can express themselves if they don't like something, mm. which is uh, most important. Not or uh, because you refuse to participate in that uh, kind of behavior, you'll never work anywhere in the industry and stuff like that. So I think the Indians uh, um, out and stuff like that are doing a good job. And you've never had to face that. Yeah? Huh? You've never had to face that. A couch casting. Yeah. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, bro. I hope there's no me too coming for you. Bro. I'd be so hurt, man. I'd be so hurt, man. All right, cool. So just in closing, uh, like we said, we're going to play a game. So I just want you to impersonate. Um, I'm, I'll give you a name. And then if you can do an impersonation of that, it would be great. Because I know you're the master of impersonation. Uh, yeah. okay. okay. So pretend you're in theater. You must be on your toes. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go. Bruce Lee, an impersonation of Bruce Lee. Wakao! 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 I wanna Wakao! 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 Anonya anya na giti sabo mandi pianya na eh eme guanti nya na rada mona. Fuck, I love him, eh? Are you guys close? Yeah, he's a very good friend of mine. How brilliant is he? Uh, he's he's amazing. Jeez, man, and he's just going like this and like this and like this. Definitely, I was so proud to see him on that Beyonce show. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And do you guys compete on like, hey, look what I've done? Hey, um, no, 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 not at all. I think uh, the biggest thing that we have is respect for one another. Yeah. yeah. There's a guy, his name is Isaac Markwe. Israel. Isaac, Israel Markwe. Yeah. Hey, no, 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 no. That guy is amazing, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that guy. Yeah. How is he as a person? Um, He's interesting. He's a wonderful storyteller and I think he's very funny. Yeah. yeah. And he's been in the game since I was a kid, man. Yeah, he's been in the game for long. I think uh, he, he's great. And, you know, he does the music thing also. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. so um, that's a nice song that he just done now with Questa. I think it's a with tight Questa? song. Yes, yes. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Shit, man. Now I got to meet Israel, man. Will you yeah. introduce me to him? Sure, sure. Ah, I'd love to meet that guy. I'm a big fan. And then last impression, uh, Cobra. Cobra Weezy. Um... Um, thank you for the podcast. <laughs> Morsive, Morsive interview. I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that cannot have been on a script. You came up with that. I mean, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. In closing, thank you so much, bro, for taking time out to chill with us. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, in closing, what do you want to be remembered as uh, when it's all said and done? Um, I just want to be remembered as an actor who loved his work and who great, who had um, what, great respect for others. Mm. Yeah, I think that's about it. And who are your top five actors right now that you really, really fuck with? Um, um, for me, Robert De Niro will always be there. I know he's old, King. but... King, I, I... I, I think he's uh, the greatest. I always I get him confused with... Um, Pacino. Yeah, Pacino. Yeah, no, the other one is more subtle and quiet. The other one is louder. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you differentiate <laughs> them. Um, but uh, definitely Warren Basebola. You're uh, saying about Robert, you also hope? I'm saying, Warren? do you also hope to work with him? You're about to yeah, say something. No, no, yes, yes. No, I was just saying that uh, I, I, I also tend to think... The more I grow up, you know, with life experiences and whatever, I get to improve like him because uh, I think somebody was trying to learn now or start delay when he was young and he just kept on going higher and higher. And if you see in America, they act until they're like 100, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's the beauty about this thing. You don't have to retire. Mm. You look at that John Khan, he's still in the game and still going strong. Still kicking ass. Yeah. And I hope that for you too, man. Mm, sure, sure. All right. Nice. And then Warren Masemula, yeah? Yeah, Warren Masemula. <laughs> I did mention John Kani. Um, um, Where are the ladies? Where the the ladies? ladies, yes. Definitely Mushidi, who yeah. was playing my mother in season one. Yeah. I have great respect for her. And yeah, and Tati Mushesh, yeah. I think they just Oh and Tati Mushesh. Yeah. And then um what's her, what's her name? Cindy Tatu. Definitely, definitely. Man. I think she's amazing. She's leading the boat quite well. 
I've been trying to get to interview her, but she's been busy because you guys are filming now and trying to catch up. Yes. But yes, hopefully yes, it will yes. happen, man, because that would be amazing. I used hopefully. to watch you on Mubango. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Shit, that's crazy. And then um, the young, your young, the young actors coming up. Who, who do you like? Mm, I'm enjoying the boys that we have at the moment in the show. Yeah. Uh, Botabi, so the guy who's playing my son. Um, and are they not rude to you? Because you know these young kids are spoiled nowadays. Yeah, no, no, no. They're good. Boys. They'll tell you, you ain't shit. <laughs> they're, they're good boys. <laughs> fortunately, they're good boys. Yeah. Yeah. Fortunately, they're good boys, and uh, you know. Some of the things when you're looking at them, it's like you see your young self. Yeah. Uh, so I I hope they just stay disciplined. Who do you see your young self in? Both of them. Mm. I mean, they're young, they're excited to be doing this, and the energy is just great. It's great, ne? Yeah. All right. Presley, thank you so much. I've appreciated this. Mm, and it's so an much, honor man. to meet you, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank and you for having me. If you ever do win another Oscar, just send a shout out there when you're on stage. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Marcy. Marcy. We are here. Podcast and chill. Boom. Hey, hey, hey.